So today is hot pot day. Um, me, Hannah, and Leslie are gonna go to New One to buy ingredients for hot pot at home. We're gonna eat it probably right here. Um, unfortunately, Oliver can't be here because he's in Toronto finding homes. But uh, I'm gonna go out, go shop for the hot pot ingredients, and then we'll come back and show you how it's done. Also, just a side note, we picked a really good day for hot pot. It looks hot outside, right? It's like 31 or 32 degrees right now. And yeah, we're gonna eat hot pot in 31 to 32 degrees. And I start to clap Cause I'm feeling good My room is empty So, you're probably thinking, if I ate hot pot at home, wouldn't I need a pot? These pots are pretty expensive, so do they really make up for the $10 or $20 saved if I ate at home? And how many times am I really going to eat hot pot? And you're probably thinking, don't we have a lot of hot pot in Montreal where we can just go and eat out? And it's all you can eat too. We have like Happy Lamb, Louis Shou, Fondue Peking, Hot Pot Panda, Lao Jiu Men. There's so many different choices. Why do I really need to eat hot pot at home? And to that, I'd say... It's a good question, and you might not save a lot of money, but otherwise, I wouldn't have a video to create. So here it is for you anyways. All it has is the guitar and the snare drum. I bang on it. It's this life. I guess it's fine. <laughs> Fully prepped and ready. Sorry, Oliver, you can't be here, but you can have some leftovers later. <laughs> Living the life. The spicy is actually, I think, um, like it's not very spicy. It's like ma. Yeah, it's, it's more like nothing. And then the tomato is really good. Oliver. Pogwazama. No, my heart.
later that same evening. Just finished 12 hour shift. Oliver is back from Toronto. I he am. missed the hot pot yesterday. Yeah, I, I missed it. But he's I back. Missed I missed it. He's back for drinking today. Yes, I am. And I can't believe you sent me a film like mocking <laughs> me on my train. <laughs> Why I was starving on the train? Yeah, I sent him and I'll play it right now. Oliver. <laughs> um, but I just got word from my potential master supervisor. I, I secured a supervisor, so I'm going back to UBC most likely. Damn, and he's gonna be a master! And then we bought pizza, a master we degree. bought alcohol, Hannah's gonna come over, and we are gonna celebrate. Mm-hmm. Hannah is here. Stealing all the alcohol. <laughs> Oliver, as always, putting the alcohol in his bag. A little dark celebration. Dark hot summer. Let's go. <laughs> it was like he bought it like three minutes ago. And it's melting. Too <laughs> what? It's too hot for this. <laughs> yeah, it's I like know. right outside, right there. Yeah, I know. Damn, look at that. Skills. Look at my hand. <laughs> no, you. Take it away, please. Thank you. And let's see how a uh, how a pretty lady handle handle her ice cream. She's not handling it very well either. Never mind. Back to you, Jamie. Oh my God, you're so dark. I can see you. Oh my God. Do you know? Originally, like, this guy made the ice cream and he picked up one of the ice creams and he dumped it back. <laughs> and then he made another ice cream and then he gave it to me. And then one of the girl employees saw it and she was like, This ice cream looks like. And then she <laughs> took it. She took it from my hand and then she re remade a new one and gave it to me. Damn. There were four ice creams made just for you. Okay, I'm gonna show some uh, filming techniques, okay? Oh god. Ooh, double flashlight. I stole it. Oh my god, too shiny. 